Raymond Sinclair. Don't you've probably noticed that Blue Chap is all over the place. Uh, but what does Blue Chap really mean to you? Well, we knew that there was only one way to get to the bottom of a man. So we went to the gents and asked them. I buy Blue Chap because of the quality. It's because of the taste that I buy Blue Chap. I buy Blue Chap because of the style. And that's just some of the many different people from all walks of life who told us where to go. From a small cottage industry to a large cottage industry, Blue Chap has expanded as a service for fellas looking for the ultimate in satisfaction. Listen out for further details of Blue Chap's range of gents essentials and good guy buys. Goodbye. Hi, everybody. It's Sizzling Sinclair with Down Your Pantry. When passing a sojourn in my great Aunt Hermione's country cottage, she's often shared with me some of her rich and challenging recipes. And if I may, I'd like to use this short series of programs to impart to you some of her culinary secrets. Log jam is one to which I've been privy. Of course, it's not made from logs, but loganberries. Though owing to the size of her labels and her rather unsteady hand, she had to use what chefs call an abbreviation. Now, to make log jam, you're going to need the following ingredients. 50 pounds of dried soft fruits with the pips taken out. Two eggs. 14 grams of self-raising flour a small clove of vanilla, and the juice of 57 kumquats. I'll be back to show you how to make log jam in a moment. Hold tight, Britain. Junglish vibes in the area. UK jungle pirate. Hello again. Well, after two hours of simmering, you can already see the shape it's taking. Now is the time to add the glazed eggs, though you will need to peel away what remains of the broiler from around the jam jelly in order to push the eggs deep into the thick syrup inside. The eggs help to stabilize the sickly log center and also harden the outer layer, rather like a good runny Stilton cheese. When you've inserted the eggs correctly, place the log jam mold on a sterile plate in the pantry and remove the door, as the log jam jelly mold may overexpand in a hot summer. When it's ready, pull the log jam out of your pantry and sample it on crumpets or toast. An electric carving knife is ideal for slicing the log jam thinly, though people with dentures should seek medical advice before mastication. And there you are. Next week, we'll be asking, why souffle? Until then, this is Sizzling Sinclair saying, bolus is best. Cheerio. Raymond Sinclair. Just around the corner. It's time to tune up for those do-it-yourself home improvements. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, it seems that we have some rather minor technical difficulties. Uh, we're hoping to return to the program as soon as possible. Uh, in the meantime, here's some music. <laughs> I think we've sorted out the problem, so without further ado, let's return to the scheduled program. Please accept our apologies for spoiling your enjoyment. Hey! With spring just around the corner, it's time to tool up for those do-it-yourself home improvements that you've been putting off since Christmas. Perhaps it's time to fit a bath. 
Or well, maybe you think, oh, how about attacking that rather large hole in the wall uh, to please the neighbors? Keep listening for more information about Blue Chap's range of blue tools for the handyman. Raymond Sinclair, Raymond Sinclair. Blue Chap, Blue Chap, Blue, blue Chap's house of fashion expo. House of fashion As we know, England has always boasted the best in fashion talent. Indeed, London leads the world in garment creativity. And for that very reason, we're taking the Blue Chap House of Fashion Expo to Birmingham. Bring the whole fam apps, try to... Or how about talking to Blue Chap's resident quatuorists, our debonair design duo of peristalsis and Mallory Vice, who'll be on hand with up-to-the-gusset hemline advice. The show, hosted by England's finest ever goalkeeper, Jeff Banks. So, if the cap fits your cloth, stitch up your mouth and trousers. In time for... Blue Chap, Blue Chap, Blue, Blue Chap's House of Fashion Expo. House of Fashion Show. Raymond Sinclair. Hi, everybody. Uh, and welcome to a special sharing of this season's styles and colors. Cynthia, Portia, and Susan are all in pieces. Uh, all in pieces from the Blue Chap, Blue Chappers range of daywear for today's woman. <laughs> Cynthia's blue girl jacket is tapered in an unusual direction. Its sturdy bauxite box frame construction belies the essential femininity of its conception. A blue lady pleated paisley pattern pout polypropylene A-line apron is both practical and pink, <laughs> a color that's very popular this season. Porsche's blue madam vulcanized rubber all-in-one is ideal for the office. Gathered ambitiously at the knee and cross-stitched at the shoulder blades, this sexy little workday number is broken only by a blue snatch zip fastener across the navel, which I'm assured is far from ornamental. Meanwhile, Susan coyly displays her off-white patent chipboard epaulets and a dummy headline, which goes to prove once again that this year, when it comes to coverage, it's quality, not quantity, that counts. Raymond Sinclair. Now, I'm sure you'll find it hard to keep your eyes off April, May, and Lolita, who are barely wearing selections from the Blue Chappers Evening Wardrobe. Jane sports an off-the-shoulder polar neck perspex toga with its elasticated diamante breastplate adding to the gun Roman feel. May is busting out all over in a traditional Lebanese tartan bodice, which is loose laced at the back with genuine snail bone, and its daring shoe hair trim stylishly picking off the red and pillar box sequins. <laughs> and finally, we come to my own personal favorite, the lovely Lolita, <laughs> who's wearing a tarpaulin two piece with a brass flecked sou'wester complementing the fishmonger motif. Watch how her winkle net petticoat catches the spotlight. In fact, two spotlights, setting off her contrasting stocking. And uh, that's not the only thing it seems to set off. Uh, 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 expect next season's colors to be a uh, burnt umber. Uh, thank you for coming and goodbye. Raymond Sinclair. Welcome back. Say goodbye. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. You can strip off in style thanks to the Blue Chap, Blue Can Pecker, Pucker Chipper, Stripper, and Slow Blow Job Mate. Think of it as a wallpaper stripper. And the Job Mate works in two ways. A self adhering heated flange is applied to the wall. Then, using a combination of skill, judgment, and luck, attach the Slow Blow Job Mate to the other side of the wall so that it's flush with the flange. Some neighbors may not let you in and switch. You'll need no assistance. In fact, you can look on helplessly uh, as the job mate's stream of harmless hydrogen sulfide peels off stubborn wallpaper, loose paint, and even unsecured fixtures and fittings. Allowing you, when finished, simply to paper over the job mate, creating an attractive relief feature. 
get it off with the blue chip, Luke and Becca, bucket chippers, tripper, and slow blow job mix. It's the quality tool to be proud of. Luke and Becca. Raymond Sinclair. Raymond Sinclair. Raymond Sinclair. As you may know, Blue Chap has always flown the flag for British business interests and cultural traditions in the face of continental encroachment. After all, we did fight and win two world wars, and we, uh, so for anyone keen to maintain the use of imperial weights and measures, then Blue Chap is proud to announce a new tool of the trade, the Blue Chap Abracadabacus Sounder Pound Measure Ledger. Convert effortlessly from grains to groats, from bushels to pines, from Fahrenheit to furlongs. Exporters in particular will find this a useful device as it will always round up to the nearest 100 weight and rounds down when converting back. One added advantage of the Blue Chap Abracadabacus is its unique speak the weight feature. The machine's built-in voice announces each answer loudly and clearly. Yes, why not? How many gills in a metric quart? Yes, that's right. Nearly six. Or how many pounds in a metric kilogram? Yes, one exactly. And in these days of the floating pound, you need a floating decimal point. Raymond Sinclair. For style and adventure, you can't beat the experience of a holiday on an ocean-going liner. Many of you, I know, have enjoyed cruising on the Blue Float Frigotanker Passage Liner Gaunt III. But once, this kind of holiday was only the preserve of the posh. <laughs> but how many people know the interesting derivation of the word posh? Well, posh, P-O-S-H, stands for Port, Uzo, Sherry and Hock. And this was the cocktail traditionally served up as a remedy for seasickness. Well, I didn't know that. And something else I don't know is that the term limey is another expression with a nautical origin. In years gone by, sailors on vessels bound for the Americas who developed symptoms of scurvy were often treated as a last resort with a caustic lime bath. <laughs> well, that's all for now. Stay pressed. Raymond Sinclair. It's Raymond Sinclair with another blue chap recommendation. Cold stiff in a jiff while you wait for your date. Are you raw to the core with a wilt in your kilt? Well, at Blow Chap, we know how passing wind can go right through you. Which is why Blow Lab scientists have developed the worsted for wear range of gentlemen's undergarments. Yes, Blow Jobs, the pant that allows you to breathe. Styled for comfort in rugged Freylon, it's the air conditioned three in one grandy vest and long john singlet. Available in small, medium, and extra medium. What could be simpler? Next time it's cold, why not unfold your Blow John's sheer shrinkling sheath and step carefully into the dust gusset? Standing completely erect, roll each lubricated sleeve over the shank of your arm, expelling any air trapped in the tip, and, using your teeth as a toggle grip, thread the drawstring under the clenched flap, leaving just enough cleavage to inflate the spring-loaded bun. Then stand back and switch off. Use the handheld control pod to fine-tune the temperature of your blow muscular and instantly you'll feel all the space-age benefits of Blow John's Soils technology. Just slip your workaday clothes over your Blow John's and you're ready to step out in style and warmth. Only to be used in conditions of complete weightlessness. Comes complete with the semi-rigid herringbone blow throne for dangle angle adjustment and a complimentary tube of shred guard garment care jelly. Not available outside the Soviet Union. One of the most fetching accoutrements a guy can sport during inclement weather is the blue chap Wellington boot. Uh, but how many people know that the humble Wellington derives its name from the notoriously marshy city in New Zealand called Wellington, where it was invented? Well, I didn't. Uh, but another thing I don't know is that the humble picnic sandwich was named after a golf course in North Kent. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay pressed. Raymond Sinclair. Hey, 
I know you. You're a chubby chappy. Too thick set for the jet set. Did the lady say no because you can't see your toes? Well, don't worry, because doctors now recognize that medical conditions such as tubby tummy and jelly belly are perfectly treatable. Put floppy body behind you. The most progressive advance in dietary regimes is the Blow Chap Skinny Thin Slim and Trim Blow Plan. Blow, blow, plan, plan, blow. The Blow Plan Diet is a 14-day course of pills containing the breakthrough appetite suppressant mescaldioxycyanastabate. Clinically proven by extensive field trials in Abyssinia, the Blow Plan meal replacements will actually make you want to eat less. Your reflection will become smaller and may appear on the ceiling, and you'll feel happier about being fat in the first place. Not to be used as a stimulant. Also included is the vulcanized rubber dubber blubber fatter bag for mechanical targeting of those stubborn fatty deposits. Comes complete with the Blue Chap Slimmy Shim Overhead Cam and Centrifugally Damped Svelter Belt and Thigh Vise. Raymond Sinclair. Hello, everyone. I'm sure by now you know who I am, yeah, but just in case you don't, my name is Raymond Sinclair. Well, I don't know about you, but I've so very nearly finished my last-minute preparations for Christmas that I'm taking a breather, so to speak, in my favorite fireside armchair to bring you another selection from my popular and much-loved music show, Sing Something Sinclair. So, why not relax with me as I put my feet up and toast another Yule Log while listening to a special Christmas treatment of the theme from Not How It Should Be. holiday season, so it's to her I'd like to dedicate not how it should be. I hope you were listening to that, Anita. Until tomorrow, stay prayers. Hi, everybody. It's Raymond Sinclair just popping in to tell you that the Sinclair singers are in session for us today. And guess what? They're coming your way soon. Don't forget now and stay prayers. Missed the last bus home. Is walking putting holes in the soles of your plim soles? Well, when getting about is wearing you out, let Blow Chap help with the Porter Pedal Straddle Saddle Blow Bike. It's the first ever truly portable bicycle. Assembly couldn't be simpler. 
Clasp the front wheel in your left hand whilst carefully inserting the three-gear worm cog into the rear wheel hub housing. And, holding the chain tightly between your thumb and teeth, slide it home with your forehead. And there you are. A gentle tap on the quick-release knob, and hey presto, you're ready to start again. The Blue Bite's unique stereo cock design makes it often collapsible, allowing you to carry it home from the office and carry it back again in the morning. And what's more, it's fashionable too. Also available the three-wheel version, the Blue Bite Clack in a Trice. The Blue Champ Porter Pedal Straddle Saddle Blue Bite. Hey, derail your gears and put a spoke in your wags. Caution, always remove the revolving knives before fitting the child seat. Fellas, still buying that jar of Russian caviar? Are your taste buds on their last legs? Because you've nothing left but fish eggs. Then savor the flavor of our rich taste fish paste. New Blue Chap Blue Row Pearl Syrup. For centuries, this deep sea delicacy has graced the tables of the rich and irresponsible. Spread thickly on crumpets, pearl syrup is thought to be a potent aphrodisiac. Not for sale to under 16s. Blue Row Pearl syrup commands a premium price, but then it does take one healthy sperm whale 12 days to produce enough for just one part, to say nothing of the trouble we have to go to to collect it. Not suitable for menstruating women. Blue chat, blue row pearl syrup. Lay it on with a towel, wipe it off with a towel. <laughs> Cannot be used as wood glue. Raymond Sinclair. Hello everyone, I'm sure by now you know who I am, uh, but just in case you don't, my name is Raymond Sinclair. Uh, it's time now for a hot little number. The Sinclair Singers performing another selection from Sing Something Sinclair. And this time they're really turning up the heat with the year of the family. Yes, uh, hello, uh, fabric, please. We are the Sinclair Singers from across the Eastern Ocean, bringing you a story that'll cause a commotion. This noble institution going right back to creation. The sentence I'm death into hell and damnation. A minister who caught the call on ship to do as he fly A hero didn't know much and they made his dance yo yo son Since he liked them so much, he decided to have three He cheered the family He cheered the family To live along the coast of Fort and sail a field on sea He waited to fish until the dad began to disagree Now the missus is the media and Junior's got leukemia And all the eggs but they are the nuclear family Surrounded by his toys And I know what you're thinking He's not one of the boys They say he's kind of kooky But it wouldn't it be spooky If he turned out to be the black sheep of the family, yo oh? The year is the family We can't do a news, we 
the family. Well, sometimes things can get a bit too hot, can't they? Um, that was the Sinclair Singers with one last play for the year of the family. And it's at this special time of year that our thoughts turn to the family. Uh, so if you're listening, Anita, why not come home? There's a very special present with your name on it under the tree. I do hope you'll have a happy Christmas, and I look forward to joining you again in the new year. Stay blessed. Oh dear, oh dear. Lost again. Has the sun gone to bed and you've no A to Z? In something of a flap because you didn't bring your map. Well, make yesterday a thing of the past. Thanks to the Blue Chap direction indicator and location device. Or Blue Dild for sure. It's a kind of compass. Uh, or think of it as a self erecting sextant. Anyway, it can help tell you where you are. It's simple to use and often looks stylish. Attach the orange and ochre waist brace, making sure the mother of pearl effect lap ledge springs into the fully horizontal position. The back mounted carbide batteries utilize modern milk flow technology, giving you a full 20 minutes of useful power. Important, always try to get lost within 20 minutes of leaving home. Designed by British scientists, the Blue Dill navigates its way using the clouds. Cannot be used on a clear night. Observe how the blue and yellow lights on the right of the lap ledge are flashing intermittently. When both lights turn brown, and go out for the last time, you know you're exactly somewhere. Amazing. When no longer turned on, the blow dild hangs loosely from the waist. You need never go astray, because your blow dild knows the way. Home. Raymond Sinclair. Are you in a fix with no holiday pics? Is the office party duller, because your photos aren't in color? Well, if you're the gent with a photographic bent, the Blue Chapper Snapper Blueleroid camera gives you instantly a picture just like the one you were about to take. Simply point and push. After first ensuring that you've selected the correct weather conditions with the rotary knob. And not forgetting to use the Blochomatic Location Correlator. Patent pending. For example, if you're taking a picture of the Colosseum, press the button marked Large Roman Amphitheatre between cheese and wine party and bar mitzvah at sunset. Some people may not appear in the photographs that were taken of them. So you see, this versatile camera can take a picture of almost anything. Your pictures are a lasting almanac. Happy memories with which to look back on... Important. Photographs may fade after 30 minutes. Raymond Sinclair. Hi, everybody. It's Raymond Sinclair with another Blue Chap recommendation. As you probably know, those royal wedding bells could soon be chiming again. And here at the House of Blue Chap, try as we might, we can think of no better way to mark this very special event in the life of our Queen's youngest son than to present to you an almost unique commemorative memento. The House of Blue Chap Glass Bottom Gravy Boat. This stylish and ship shapely curio is attractive enough to have been modeled on the royal yacht itself. <laughs> In fact, on both the port and starboard sides of the gravy boat, the courting couple's captioned crest has been specially etched by the nation's foremost electroplater. Fetching, wouldn't you say? It'll fetch even more when you can send off the name Mrs. Simpson and scratch in next to Edward the name of the bride he finally ends up with. But perhaps most important of all, this hard-wearing pewter effect picture will reflect the durability of the royal matrimonial commitment for you, your children, and your children's stepfather. Raymond Sinclair it's Christmas time again. But oh dear, there you are, nothing to crack your nuts with. Well, never fear, the Blow Chap Walnut Splitter's here. It'll crack open any nut of any size. It'll also prove a fabulous and acceptable Christmas gift. Some nuts may corrode the chrome effect finish of this product. The Blow Chap Walnut Splitter comes complete with a nut selection and a handy dispenser, the swivel head squiddle effect Blow Chap's nuts in a 
brace party wheel can also be used as a car jack. Caught short with less than you thought? Hmm. Money is a worry, isn't it? But never fear, blue chaps here. No cash is a smile. No cash is a smile. At Blue Chap, we know that fiscal security means a lot to any gent. Which is why the Blue Chap Overseas Offshore Mainland Loan and War Bond Proprietor, in association with the Vatican Investment Investment House, is pleased to offer you the Blue Cash Blue Bond Account. Blue bond account. Open a Blue Bond Account. Blue bond account. Open a Blue Bond account and you'll discover the Blue Cash watchword. And that watchword is premium interest for a limited period with an attractive return and maximum withdrawal penalty equivalent to 150% per annum. For students opening their first account, there's the added incentive of a free gift. A complimentary vanity vase of Blue Chap toilet water. Allow us to underwrite when you overspend. Remember, your house and toilet water are at risk if you do not keep up the daily loan repayments. You can be on the go while we're on the make. At the Blue Chap Overseas Offshore Mainland Loan and War Bond Propriety, or Blue Kumobop for short. Set gathering dust. This sale is a must. Blue Chap, the home of excellence, is pleased to announce a special purchase of quality seconds. Our Blue Bulk Warehouse Division is now able to offer a wide range of flood damage goods at discount prices, including thousands of mattresses, televisions, English strawberries, toilet tissue, cigars, and bridal gowns. Also available, Blue Chap Ready Mix Concrete in Ready Set Go Preformed Lumps. Raymond Sinclair. Imagine a fridge. Uh, imagine a fridge that can save you money. Imagine a fridge that can walk the dog and take the rubbish out. Well, we're not quite there yet, but penny for penny, the cold snap chili chap blue snow low cost froster will cool your comestibles without burning. Uh, without burning a hole in your pocket. The chili chap froster dispenses with the expensive freon gas in favor of inert helium. Simply open the fridge door and stand well back, allowing the excess helium to escape. Your sensitive thermostats constantly regulate the pressurized cabinet so as to match exactly the outside temperature. It can also be used to heat the kitchen. It turns milk effortlessly into butter. It turns cheese effortlessly into fungus. It comes complete with jelly and jelly mold. The cold snap chili chap blow snow low cost froster. Your baked Alaska will be in Nebraska and your extremity will be in Yosemite. It illuminates automatically with the little man monitor janitor, the frigid widget midget. Do you suffer from sensitive teeth? Have you got aching gums? Is your sister a trans... What is this possibly got to do with... So, for rapid relief from plate ache and sore jaw, the answer could be blue dent chewy chap yum yum num gum. Now available in two fresh breath flavors, bauxite and cotton. A chewy chap num gum is clinically proven to work in two ways. Way one and way two. Just pop a drop of gum into your mouth and start chewing. Do not swallow or the wind may change and then your insides will stick together. Almost immediately, you'll notice the soothing effect of it. Spit it out when you want to talk again. Consult a physician if chewing is stopped for more than three minutes. Banish bad breath for good and say farewell to loose filling. If symptoms persist, chew more gum. I'm sorry, sir, but we've got no record of your reservation. But I've given you my ticket. Well, I can't make out what's on it. Meringue. No wonder it's all stuck together. Blue Chapper Clapper Blowboard, in association with Blue Screen Movie Scene, is proud to present Raymond Sinclair as Tony Meringue. Um, yes, uh, can I have a, a Perno Avocar and a Bulgarian Slow Gin with a frosted Maraschino Cherry and a shot glass uh, and a whiskey chaser? Very white with your meal, sir. Oh, uh, white, please. Uh, and could I have the chicken chasseur rather than the beef struggle? 
Yeah, the beef will be fine. Thank you. Thank you. It's high tide at Dover tonight. Oh, hello. Um, um, do you mind awfully if we swap trays? Uh, Struggernuff's normally my favorite, uh, though I find beef hard to digest at high altitudes. The porcupine is dead. Is, is that right? Lester Piggott rides donkeys. Uh, and only in his spare time, I'm sure. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. Yes, uh, put your headphones on quickly. No one must know that you're listening to me. Now, this is the form. We know that the cocaine is being shipped from Peru to our charming little harpsichord importer, but we've no idea how it's getting there. One thing's for sure, Moran, they're onto you already. For Pete's sake, keep Carlo ahead of you with a gun and get him to taste any food you're giving. Yeah, get him just tonight. Marang, Marang, you're not listening to me. <laughs> Are you all right? Well, he won't be needing that roll, then. Will you open your suitcase? Um, what is this? That's my badger skin cameraband. This will have to be quarantined. Oh, not my legs of pork. Does this belong to you, too? Yes, that's my red herring clip-on coxcomb. Yeah, look, it's got my name on it. Mering away. The presidential suite. No, sir. Just one room with double bed. Well, I've no idea where Carlo's going to stay. Senor, your friend Carlo uh, is... Now, do I sign here? See, si, uh, but Senor yeah. Carlo Can is you already... have a bellboy carry up my cases? Oh, uh, and I'd like a tray of volivants from room service as well, please. But your friend Carlo... Uh, do let me know when Carlo arrives. The flight was terrible. I missed my rendezvous. The struggle was off. And customs confiscated my legs of pork. Uh, I'm sorry? No, no, no sign of Carlo as yet. Uh, uh, look, you'll have to speak up. No, they put me in room 202. It must be near the boiler room or something. Can't write. I'd better go. It sounds like there's a bird trapped in the air conditioning. <laughs> Has anyone expected to sleep with that noise going on? The tide is high at Dover. Lester Pigot, Montaria. Lester Pigot. Lester Pigot. What are you doing in my bed? Che cosa fare in mio letto? Who do you think you are? Michalo. I don't care if you're Benito Mus. Uh, Carlo, uh, a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Uh, I'm Tony Marang. Mi sono il suo interprete. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry, Carlo. Uh, you're going to have to speak English. Italian wasn't my tripod at Cambridge. Uh, that'll be my starter for ten. Che? Ah, uh, no, it's the doorbell. Uh, probably room service with my volivants. Signor Marang? Yes, that's me. <laughs> Carlo, uh, would you mind clearing up this mess? The bellboy is face down in my volivant. The bellboy is dead. Oh, dear. You stabbed him. Well, this tool of mine keeps popping out, Carlo. I think it's high time I got my cuff-concealed blue chopper flapper flick knife repaired. What are we going to do, Tony? The only thing we can do, Carlo. Ah, uh, hello. The name's Tony Marang. Could I order some more volivants, please? Better check his pockets, Carlo. Tony, he had a gun in his waistcoat. Uh, uh, no, Carlo, I meant his trouser pockets. Uh, I'd rather like that hundred lira tip back. Hang him up on the inside of the door where he won't be seen. Now, Carlo, so far I've ascertained that our harpsichord importer, the Contessa del Monte Bianco, is receiving cocaine shipments, but I've no idea how she's getting the supplies in or out. We've got to get into her warehouse. She's having a medieval-style banquet at her workshop in San Gimignano. San Gimignano, eh? You know when, Carlo? This evening, Tony. Then we've no time to lose. Get onto your people and forge us an invitation to this medieval party. I'll disguise myself as a court jester. We'll go in your car, Carlo. I haven't got a car, Tony. Well, what have you got? Carlo, if we have to serve ice cream every time we stop at a red light, we're never going to get there. Right, Carlo. Check Coxcomb. That's working. Check Harlequin Pantaloons. Good. Now, let's go over the plan one more time. I'll be disguised as the court jester. 
Giancarlo, have you got into your pantomime horse costume yet? Yes, Tony. Good. Bend over. I shall ride on you into the courtyard where the Contessa and her cronies are having their banquet. I'll be relying on you, Carlo, for my punchlines. And Carlo, I cannot impress enough on you the need for stealth and secrecy at all t- Turn that bloody thing off, Carlo! Carlo, I thought you told me this was a medieval party. I'm the only one here without a Stetson, and you're certainly not much of a horse. Tony, it's like a furnace in this costume. Shut up, Carlo, you're breaking my cover. And you're breaking my back. Quickly, sound like a horse. There's someone coming toward us. Attenzione, tutti. Night cavalry has arrived. Ah, buongiorno. You must be the Contessa. I am your jester for tonight. Saddled with, uh, saddled up for your entertainment. Look, I can do tricks. <laughs> Often. And, uh, and pronto, my horse, makes funny sounds too. Pronto, my horse, makes funny sounds too, don't you, Pronto? I can't wait to see you perform, but perhaps you and Pronto would like something to eat before you entertain us all. Come with me into the kitchen and I'll fix you a little something. Well, I have to say, Contessa, these are the spiciest pair ribs I've ever had. And Carlo eh, Pronto seems to be enjoying his nose bag, too. And my word, you look fetching in that Annie Oakley outfit, Contessa. Grazie. Thank you. Anyway, I think it's time we entertained you and your guests. So thanks for the meal, and we... Well, you pack a mean piece there, Contessa. You're getting into that Wild West spirit, are you? In the back, both of you. No, I'm not sure Annie Oakley ever used the Kalashnikov. <laughs> Uh, hello, Contessa. Uh, one of your harpsichord legs is broken. If you've got some glue... Right, it's start to quasi liberal. Guarda! Carlo, what's she saying? She's angry because you were trying to escape, Tommy. No, oh, what a preposterous thought. Why would I want to unshackle myself from the womb of such a gracious and charming hostess? I should make you more comfortable by giving you some support around the neck. No, oh, please don't touch my cravat. It takes me so long to... Not to... You're never going to get away with this. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? You're never going to get away with it, Contessa. That's some radio. Are you listening to me? You're never going to get away with it, Contessa. Colonel, I think you should listen to this. You see, I know how you've managed to get your evil shipments in and out of this country, but... That's right. Merang must have switched on his cravetta phone. Contact control and get a fix on him. I think I'll find he's in Italy, sir. Don't be flippant, Cartwright. We need an exact grid reference. What's he saying now? Well, by hollowing out the insides of your hardwood harpsichord surrounds, uh, taking care, of course, not to damage the finely tooled coachwork and Arabic... Oh, get on with it, Meringue. Get on with it, Meringue. Well, it's in the hollowed out wood, isn't it? That's how you've been smuggling the cocaine. Very clever, Meringue. Though, unfortunately, this information has come too late to save you. Our business has become so successful that tonight we are moving to new premises. Anywhere nice. Uh, Sadly, we have no further use for this warehouse, so the last person out will be turning the lights on. So you're gonna torch the place and us with it, eh? Sir, MI9 say the Italians have got agents on the ground nearby. They should have Merang out of there in 20 minutes. Ten minutes from now, you and your friend will be roasted alive. Looks like the Merang's going to be slightly burnt, sir. Gasole, pronto. Uh, uh, Contessa, uh, can you possibly ask Fredo not to pour any uh, petrol over my suede effect winkle pickers, uh, as it nearly always turns them sort of a uh, mottled pink uh, and makes them curl up at the end? Uh, uh, never mind. Che peccato. Che spaventa passere. Well, formaggio un segue da uh, Excuse pertunto. me. Uh, if you've got something to say, say it in English. I was telling your friend how much better off he'd have been working for me. Sadly... That is not to be. Contessa, uh, you've left your mobile phone on the floor there. That is there for a reason. When I hear the line go dead, I shall know you are too. In the meantime, I shall enjoy listening to your screams. If you've something to say, now is your last chance. I've got something to say, all right. Contessa, you you, um, probably stand quite a reasonable chance of getting away with it. Oh, no. My winkle pickers are on fire, and, and Carlo, I'm afraid one of your hooves is melting. Hooves, Cartwright? Melting? 
What's he on about? Well, it's not uncommon for Meringue to dress up his number two as a pantomime horse. Sir. Oh, God. So what else did she say when she was talking Italian to you? The Contessa said, uh, were it not for you, Raymond, I might have made her a fine part. Yeah, yes, I got that bit, Carlo. Uh, but what came after that? She said she would like very much for me to see it on her. Static seems to be getting worse, sir. The flames must already be consuming the That'll flesh. That'll do, Cartwright. I don't think I can sit here and listen to much more of their slow, agonizing death. There's cricket on long waves, sir. Ah! He's out. I think that's it, Cartwright. The ashes are almost certainly coming back to Britain. There goes a brave man. What a terrible loss for England. Well, they have avoided the follow-ons. He says he wants a progress report on the Merang case. First Ben well and now Merang. Second death is going to be very difficult to explain. Oh, you better put him through, Cartwright. BBC Radio Hello, Mr. Brian. Three o'clock. This is uh, yes, just a moment. H4. No, it's a miss. Yes, uh... F2 sinks your battleship, Sir Brian. Oh, we'd love to. Do you mind if we bring the dog? Friday, four o'clock. At the Garrett Club. Okay, see you there, Sir Brian. Oh, goodbye. Well, Cartwright, Sir Brian wants every mention of Meringue deleted from the files. Hello, sir. Meringue, we thought you were... No, you must have given me and Carlo up for dead. Well, let me explain. Some of the petrol we were being doused in uh, trickled down onto me tool and lubricated the shaft. Now, look here. Uh, that's my calf-concealed blue chapper flapper flex sword, sir. Well, it came loose with such force that it clean shut off my arm and rammed itself hard into the floor where it pierced a soil pipe, a kind of communal waste outflow, sir. Open the window, Cartwright. The thick yellow geezer that came spurting out extinguished the flames. Gallo and I were able to catch up and ambush the Contessa's cocaine convoy. <laughs> Though not before, I carefully removed the packages of cocaine from inside the surrounds of her harpsichords, packed them carefully into three suitcases and brought her evil bounty back to England for scientific analysis and disposal by the lab boys at Amersham. Why is this man handcuffed to you? Do you know this? Well, sir, as a European national traveling with three large suitcases packed with cocaine, uh, customs at Stansted got rather suspicious. So, using my tact and diplomacy, I convinced them that I was working as an agent for British intelligence, and that if they'd accompany me to headquarters in central London, the matter could be cleared up by you, sir. Cartwright, have you sent the delete order priority nine to control yet? Yes, Colonel, uh, just two minutes ago. Do you know this person, sir? I've never seen him uh, before in my life. <laughs> What's going on? I mean, I'm very sorry, officer. Whoever this fellow is, he's clearly wasted your time. I haven't heard the last of oh, this. All dry, don't sir. Yeah, two timing, toad face. Do invoice the ministry for any expenses you might have incurred. Thank you very much. Don't worry. I'll find a way to get back, all right. Tony Marang will return soon. Raymond Sinclair. No music to play on your Spanish holiday. Well, if the Spanish night is long, it'll go faster with a song from the Blue Chap, Blue Tinkle Tune Tutor and Gator Rotor Blue Organ. You can play any tune it knows, including some you won't have heard of before. How about my Spanish eyes? Or maybe you prefer Guantanamera. Or perhaps that Spanish classic, Brazil. You can play along with the blow organ too. And don't worry if you play the wrong notes, as it'll automatically play the right ones for you. C sharp and A flat not included. Mm, that was a lovely fish supper, Anita. Now I'm ready for some condiments. Condiments off to your meal, Ray. No, Anita. I don't mean salt and pepper and vinegar and ketchup and mayonnaise and brown sauce and what have you. I mean condiments. You've heard of mint-flavored condoms? Now turn taste on its head with condiments. The new condom-flavored mint. Mm, mm, mm. Suck on a condiment. The hole with the mint in. From Blue Chap. Who else? 
Keep listening for more details about how to enroll on the course of your choice at the Blopen University. The Blopen University. It could teach you a lesson. Raymond Sinclair. You know, it's never too... You know, it's never too late to st- Ah, there you are, you're over there. Uh, it's never too late to start a- <clears throat> You know, it's never too late to start again. When I-, when I look back on my school years, I know that the reason for my lack of academic prowess was largely the result of merciless bullying from the upper fifth on account of my remarkable flyaway nasal hair. Perhaps you had inordinately large breasts or stubborn body odor. Or even if you suffered from something I didn't, you'll remember vividly how that pain and hurt prevented you from fulfilling your potential. So, it's time to tuck those traumas away and go get those grades. Now, thanks to the newly incorporated fee-free Blopen University, you can enjoy the chance to study without further feathering father for your further education further. Keep listening for details of the Blopen University prospectus and how to enroll. The Blopen University. If at first you don't succeed, you failed. Raymond Sinclair. And stay tuned for the first intensive segment in the sequential study program of the Module 4 course in Middle French and Advanced Calculus for Midwifery, which this week explores the problems associated with having a compacted height. High- Sinclair. Welcome to the first of this series of Hamlet Masterclasses. Today, we're studying the scene where Hamlet meets the ghost of his father, Compton, will perform the ghost. Uh, off you go. Thy uncle, in the porches of my ear, did pour the most leverless instrument whose effect... Sorry, Compton, uh, shouldn't it be try as I did to soak up the poison in my ears using the bluebud cotton chapper swab plaster patch? I was unable to prevent my own death. Well, Continue, Compton. List, list. Oh, list, if thou didst ever love thy gift. Come, if I can stump you there, uh, what exactly do you want Hamlet to list? He's armed with a sword, isn't he? Uh, and certainly not a blowpad lapper chap slated eight and pencil. Bernard, if you will. Compton, next week we'll study in detail Hamlet's first soliloquy. Goodbye. There now follows a public service announcement. You probably reckon you're being very clever, driving those heavy bags of bottles and bundles of newspapers to your local waste retrieval center. But stop and think. You could be doing more harm than good. The prohibitive cost of refuse management can run into millions of pounds, to say nothing of the time and money you've spent getting the rubbish there in the first place. That's why the government has been providing thousands of fly-tipping sites in laybys, roundabouts, and central reservations across the country. So, go on. Do your bit for Britain. There now follows a public service announcement. Hello, Colin. Uh, What's that under your car? It's a catalytic converter that filters out harmful exhaust gases. Ah, you mean oxides of nitrogen and carbon? That's right, and sulfur too. Mm, Sounds like I could do with one of those, Colin. Hold on a minute. Stop and think. You could be doing more harm than good. By filtering out those important gases, you could be preventing the formation of valuable ozone to say nothing of the time and money wasted on fitting the thing in the first place. 
which is why the government is making available grants to cover the cost of installing a vertically mounted eye level exhaust pipe to your car. Colin, you've got something new coming from under your car. Well, yes. A government grant helped me install this eye level exhaust. Ah, that's why the air smells seaside fresh with ozone. So, go on. Do your bit for Britain. There now follows a public service announcement. It seems like the responsible thing to do. Tow a redundant oil rig into a Scottish harbour and spend years taking it apart piece by piece under strict supervision. But stop and think. You could be doing more harm than good. The cost of dismantling the oil rig on shore could run to as much as 50 million pounds, to say nothing of the money wasted on employing people to do it. Which is why the government has made available the entire North Atlantic for the safe long-term storage of disused industrial structures such as this. So, go on, do your bit for Britain and dump it somewhere else. Raymond Sinclair. Stay tuned for another blue chip recommendation. Remember, when in doubt, it's definitely blue chip. Raymond Sinclair. QVT. Hi, everybody. It's Raymond Sinclair with Blue Cable's home shopping channel, QVT. Well, you know, there's nothing quite as enjoyable as sitting down to a fish supper. But oh, how often have you been disappointed by shoddy cod and flaky hake? Well, let me introduce you to my white wellied fisherman friends, Rod Perch and John Dory, the newly appointed heads of fish at the growing chain of Blowhunger Fishmonger Outlets. <laughs> Well, Rod, if I could turn to you first, uh, you brought with you a tasty-looking blow-chilled grilled fillet of brill gill. Now, I, I understand that uh, thanks in part to the unique microclimate offered by the warm Cumbrian coast, this particular fish is part pre-cooked when it's caught, leaving you simply to cook when it's caught the part of the catch that's not pre-cooked when it's bought. <coughs> um, sorry, has anyone got a, a handkerchief? Oh, dear. Um, join us again, uh, very... QBT. Quite variable chat. Welcome back to Blue Cable's home shopping channel, QVT. <coughs> um, uh, well, we're talking to Rod Perch and John Dory uh, about the blue-chilled grilled fillet of brill gill. Let's uh, turn instead uh, to you, John. Um, now, tell us exactly how to go about preparing Cumbrian brill gill, uh, because uh, it's very important that uh, you remember to cut the heads off both ends and throw away any part of the gullet that's still glowing. Uh, now, the texture of the fish is uh, remarkable. <coughs> <coughs> similar to freshwater slapper, <coughs> isn't it? And uh, we'll be giving out the telephone number for your step to live <coughs> toward the end of the program. And there's no need to worry if you've gone away during this hot weather when we call, uh, because the brill gill is small and flat enough to be posted through your <coughs> letterbox. <coughs> <coughs> Rod and, and John, just on, on a health note, is, is fish allergy very calm? Quite variable tat. Raymond Blue Chap is continually searching for ways to expand its range of quality comestibles for the discerning gent. We know all too well that today's on-the-go lifestyle demands quality with convenience. So Blue Chap is proud to introduce Blue Chap Chicken Lips. Blue Chap Chicken Lips, Blue Chap Chicken Lips, Blue Chap Chicken Lips, Blue Chap Chicken Lips, Blue Blow chap. What could be simpler? Remove the gauze from the outer foil envelope, but careful, don't pierce the inner sack containing the muslin pouch. Parboil over a medium stove for an hour and 20 minutes, and hey presto. Um, grill for a further 20 minutes, stirring and straining all the time. And there we are. 
blue chip chicken lips, the nutritious alternative to cow brains. Blue chip, blue chip, blue chip, blue chip, blue chip chicken lips, blue chip chicken lips, blue, 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 blue chip, blue chip, blue, blue chip, blue. Complete with the liver chick fed strainer, the blue chair, poultry pantry, chicken attic, chiblet, niblet, organ grinder. Raymond Sinclair. You know, no one can ever accuse Blue Chap of selling its customers short and get away with it. Uh, so we felt the time had come to take a step backward and recall some silver salver savers from the Blue Chap golden years. <laughs> so, if you were listening to Radio Luxembourg on the 15th of May 1968, you might well have heard this. Yes, it's the pipe every gen should be smoking in five exciting colors so you'll always be able to match your button-down shirts and stay press pants to this fabulous accessory. <laughs> and nine years later, in the age of the scheduled supersonic flight, you may well have heard this. Hey, I know you. You're one of today's busy gens. Still looking for your sexy dinner lady? Well, until she walks into the kitchen of your life, Blue Chap Chap Suey will keep you replete. Say goodbye to meat and two veg and... Ah, so, to Blue Chap Chap Suey. Comes complete with a pair of ornate Blue Chap Chap and Noodle Doo chopsticks. Well, hasn't time flown? <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed recalling those Blue Chap classics. And remember... Blue chap, where a better idea is hard to find. Raymond Sinclair. Um, uh, hi, everybody. It's Raymond Sinclair once again. Uh, look, I'm sorry, uh, but I may have misled you uh, earlier. Um, we weren't altogether recalling those blue chap products. We were actually recalling them altogether. Um, so, uh, if in the last ten days you smoked either a purple blue chap baby pipe uh, or eaten blue chap chap suey, uh, it's most important that you return the product, stay indoors, and keep listening for further announcements. Uh, thank you. Sinclair. Now from Blue Champ, it's Dick and Dale's quality range of Blue Pop Ices. It's time you tried one of Dick and Dale's double chocolate chuck fudge packers. Crammed hard with chunks and tested electronically, it's a man-sized lolly. You'll want to be alone with a Dick and Dale's double chocolate chuck fudge packer. Raymond Sinclair. It's nearing the end of a romantic meal a deux with the lady in your life. And as your gaze meets hers in the flickering candlelight, you know she's asking herself the same question. Ooh. Where's the cheese? Well, at last cheese is always down your way, thanks to Blue Chap's Blue Mole Cheesy Wheezy Curdy Churn Dial a Rhine service. Simply pick up the phone and say cheese. And then make your selection from the choices you hear, making sure you dial carefully. Carefully. Press star three hash for the Ottoman assortment. Which includes smoked Dresden Masterhorn, creamy Dutch Stalker, Norwegian Helmet, Danish Blue Vayner, Hungarian Winnet, and a round of Bavarian Stool. Or press star 341-2536-478389 hash for the Balkan Bargain Bucket, which is strictly for the cost conscious and includes surplus Swiss army cheese and unprovor processed pewed. Warning, contents may settle in another country. Raymond Sinclair. And Blue Champ, we've known for years that if there's one thing Baby likes doing more than anything else, it's playing with bricks. 
From dipper tracks to tungsten teething teats, we've tested toys for tiny tots and toddlers, for toughness, tensility, and talcritudinousness. Um, uh, talcritudinousness. Um, I'm not sure this word. Blue chip Kinder Blue range will give your child the necessary building blocks it needs to break its way to a future that's all blocked up. Uh, the Blue Boy Baby Build and Brick Brat is a selection of cuboid clay slabs which come in complete. Um, which come in complete modular form, together with a blowhard quick mix motor gun and an instruction manual helpfully printed in large typeface Swedish. Not suitable for girls. It's child's play. In fact, after only a few minutes, I managed to build this decorative mulcher for the garden. But Junior here has already topped off two reproduction Victorian follies, and soon I'll have him well on his way to erecting a much-needed outside toilet. However, it's important to be mindful of the fact that the moment a youngster's finished his construction, he often likes nothing more than to knock it down. And start again. Raymond Sinclair! Do you get bites and scars sleeping under Spanish stars? Are you sharing your pillow with a hungry mosquito? Well, if you keep your body hidden for fear of being bitten, then Blue Chap will send the midges back to their ditches with the Blue Chap No Nap Nap Net. Developed in South America to keep out tigers, the nap net drapes over your bed at night, trapping insects that are too large to crawl in, while still allowing easy access for your dog. Dobermans and greyhounds may get stuck outside and stung. Forget the pest and enjoy your rest. Blue Chap will make mugs of your bugs and keep them off of your cloth. Can also be used as a safety net. Raymond Sinclair! Hey. Are you embarrassed by your lack of general knowledge? What will you say next time you ask one of these questions? What are petals for? Where does music come from? What's the bluntest thing? How do they make gravel? It's not as easy as you thought, eh? If you were once a dunce amongst the runs, make a move to improve your groove and start collecting the only periodical that contains the answers to these questions. What do clouds do? Why can't aeroplanes go backward? What's in lard? Unravel these mysteries with issue one of Home Garden Baby Guns and Tackle today. Published by Blue Chap Blueprint in association with Book Lies Limited, it builds week by week into a garage full of unwanted paper. Comes with a free teach yourself dentistry wall chart. Important. The answer to the question what do postmen do in the afternoon is incorrect. Raymond Sinclair! Guys, stuck in a field without a cooked meal, having to get by with just a cold pork pie. Then Blue Chap can turn your cold munch into a hot lunch with the Blue Gas Rover Stove, Copper Chopper Hob, and Ditch Kitchen. Imitation Copper. Blue Chap, Blue Chap! It's the portable kitchen you can take anywhere. Simply prepare your food on the Copper Chopper. Imitation Copper. Then swing back the drop hob and cook your campsite dish in one of the two put in place for mica base boil broilers. Caution, not to be used for boiling water. The Blue Gas Rover Stove, Copper Chopper Hob, and Ditch Kitchen. Blue Chap, 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 will be in the hole and your bangers will be on fire. Not to be used in open field. Gems. Does the rain come dripping in? Cause your canvas is wafer thin. Does your camping partner object? Cause your tent isn't properly erected. Well, if your field dwelling isn't worth selling, then Blue Chap has a tip to unzip with. The Blue Chap Packer Sack Button Cotton Tent Event and Nylon Woven Blow Haven. It's the world's first fully inflatable tent. Made from specially imported low-grade polypropylene, the tent went blow haven has a puncture-proof ground sheet, allowing you to pitch on any surface rough or smooth. Caution! We'll puncture on contact with wet grass and rabbit droppings. And what's more, the blue chap tent event self-inflates with its own compressed hydrogen, so you don't have to blow it up yourself. Caution! May explode without warning. The hydrogen-filled packer sack button cotton tent event and nylon woven blow haven. Your porch will be dry and your flaps will be open wide. Important. You may wake up in a different campsite to the one you set up in. 
Simon Sinclair. In something of a spin, cause you've run out of gin. Do the ladies disappear when they see your ginger beer? Well, if you're a fella without a wine cellar, then let Blue Chap fill your house with fine wines by joining the Blue Grape Cry Pip and Sipping Tipple on Tap Wine Club. Once you join this exclusive organization, your lifetime membership will commit us to bringing you every wine we can find. For example, this 1962 Tour de Saint Clair a fine nose cracking its flavor mischievously on your tongue, leaving a sharp snap in your throat, like a crisp winter morning in Siberia where it comes from. Caution! This wine may ignite on contact with tap water. Or how about a 1958 Canif du Gondonne Premier Cru? A delicate bouquet that suggests a wine of almost inscrutable promise and a cool frostbite on the back of your throat, like a winter morning in Siberia where it comes from. And that's just two out of 50 different colored wines to choose from. You'll pop your cork and your bottle will be on tap. You from Blue Jap, it's Dick and Dale's quality range of Blue Pop Ices. For the authentic flavor and aroma of Central Naples, we at Blue Champ Blue Pops turn to one man, Gino Gen Italia. Signor Gen Italia blended together banana and double nut raspberry rimmy and black currant cheesecake collision to produce our most exciting ice cream yet, the Tutti Frutti Split Stick Booty Bar. The dessert with a certain Italian tenor to it. Whoa. And there goes one now.